what's good y'all this is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm hitting the Goodwill to see what I can find to sell on eBay and on Poshmark and right now the focus for me is absolutely outerwear and denim jeans because those are the things that are selling the most for me right now but of course I'm always going to be trying to sell um, just about anything I can find in these Goodwills to, to make some good money so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing I found was this pair of vintage Nike ACG boots and ACG boots are pretty popular. Um, anytime I find them I usually do sell them for about 40 to 50 bucks depending on the condition and these weren't in the best shape but f due to its age these were in pretty good shape in my opinion. Um, there was some minor separation which is also pretty common anytime you're dealing with older shoes and I showed you guys in the size tag I made sure I got a, a, a clip of that. Basically, these shoes were from 1995, so pretty old pair of boots, and it looked like somebody recently wore these, but um, they're only asking 10 bucks for these, and like I said, I'll probably get anywhere between 40 to 50 for these, so I might just go ahead and I'll grab these up, but like I said, the size tag, it starts with a 9.5, and these older shoes, uh, usually um, the first two numbers is the year that these were actually manufactured. Uh, next I found this Adidas track jacket and the downside to this is the fact that the size tag was cut off but it looked like it was my size and when it comes to these Adidas track jackets I always pick these up because they sell pretty quickly for me and sometimes I'll just end up keeping it for myself and since the size tag was cut off in this one I wanted to just check and see if it was actually like an extra size uh, indication on the inside unfortunately there wasn't but um, sometimes that's something for you guys to check in case the size tag is cut out just like this one. But for me, like I said, this one seemed to be in a pretty good shape minus those uh, little minor stains on the side. So I just decided to try it on just to see uh, what the size might be. And of course, it fits your boy just right. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and keep this. And for $5.99, I might as well just add it to the personal collection. Uh, why not? Next, this was soup. This was crazy. Now, I, I wish I recorded my face in this moment but i found three pendleton shirts all back to back and usually in goodwill they know pendleton they always price it super super expensive this time around the price was regular price and to find three in really really good condition was amazing to me and this was just a really nice find because overall anytime i find these they might have some moth holes some stains and i really uh just had to really look at these really intensely because sometimes when you're dealing with wool shirts you might see a very minor moth hole and buyers you know buyers are looking for those type of stuff when they buy these type of pieces but thankfully all three of these shirts were in really good condition no holes no tears no flaws whatsoever and these Pendleton shirts usually do sell for a decent amount of profit. Um, I've seen some people sell them for dirt cheap on eBay for like 20, sometimes 15 bucks. Um, I'm going to price these no lower than 60 bucks on eBay. Next, I found what I thought was a denim Sherpa jacket from Levi's, but it was just a knockoff. It said D-Star instead of Levi's, but um, be on the lookout because, you know, you, you might get too excited and just grab it up and not even realize that this is a, a knockoff. But if this was for the personal collection, somebody that wanted that, that's not a bad find. Uh, this was also something I thought was pretty dope. I came across a few of these Steph Curry Adidas jerseys. They usually don't sell for a ton of profit, but the last one I found sold the same day. I think I've sold it for like 25 bucks. So I'll definitely be grabbing this one, especially since their jersey is only 250 And like I told you guys all the time, Lakers stuff was selling for me like crazy. Um, I just wasn't sure who uh, number 19 was for the Lakers. And this is actually an Adidas jersey, so chances of me selling it wasn't going to be pretty high. But then I realized this was just a custom jersey. This is probably somebody uh, that just put their own name on the back. So I'm definitely not going to be picking that up. But this Steph Curry jersey will definitely be leaving with me. Next up, I found this uh, USC football jersey. And I sold a few of these in the past. Um, I believe this was Matt Leinart. I'm not exactly sure. I don't follow college football at all. But um, these usually do sell for some decent profit, anywhere between about 25, 35 bucks. The one I sold in the past was Nike, though, and this one, as you guys can see, wasn't a Nike jersey. So for that reason, I passed on it. But um, let me drop a comment if you guys would have picked that one up. Next, I found two Banana Republic polo shirts. Now, the thing with these Banana Republic uh, polos is the fact that they were brand new with tags. So I was definitely intrigued about picking these up. 
and it was kind of weird because I didn't even realize that I found two when I did. Um, the first one I saw, I just, you know, picked it up, thought it was pretty cool because it was brand new with tags. And that's the only time I would pick up mall brands, only if it's brand new with tags. And then the one right behind it was right uh, was also new with tags as well. And the funny thing is I actually didn't pick these up because after checking the comps on eBay, these were barely selling for 20 bucks and who knows how long they were actually listed for. So drop a comment if you guys um, sell Banana Republic pieces. Um, don't get me wrong, I do sell stuff like Banana Republic and J. Crew, but I usually stick to um, more like their outerwear or even their denim jeans. But when it comes to polos and stuff like that, I usually pass on it. It doesn't sell for much profit for me. Next was a very clean pair of Rock Revival jeans and this brand used to sell for a ton of profit a couple years ago. Um, sometimes as much as 70, 80 bucks for these jeans but now the, of course the brand isn't as hot as it used to be and it usually sells for about 30 maybe 40 bucks for me depending on the style. So I'll definitely be grabbing these up especially since jeans are selling so much right now. Yeah, next was a pair of Miss Me jeans and I've been finding this brand like crazy. Clearly the, the brand isn't as hot as it used to be. That's why I'm finding it in my thrift stores so, so often now. And this is another brand that used to sell for a lot more profit. And now I'm only getting about uh, 40 bucks for these. Now these were actually in the women's section but this was definitely a pair of men's pants and this is from the brand Scotch and Soda and I usually used to pass on this brand because the comps were really weak on eBay but I recently sold a pair of jeans from this brand for 50 bucks on Poshmark so I'm definitely going to be picking this pair up and it was in really good condition practically brand new. And then I found another pair of Miss Me jeans and these were actually black and the skinny fit and skinny fit are the ones that sell best for me. I usually find the skinny fit or the boot cut and even though this did have a minor stain on the front I can easily get that out. But like I said the ones that have a lot of studs on the back and skinny fit usually do sell best for me. So this did have a lot of studs and a lot of sequins so these should sell somewhere between that $35 and $40 range for me. Alright y'all, that's all we got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Side of auction off a bid